Hello and welcome. In this video I will show you how to create and run VB scripts that will display a message to the user. Although you can use the built-in notepad application in Windows to edit and create VB scripts, it has limited functionality, so there are a couple of programs you can use instead. They are, Notepad++, or Visual Studio Code. I will put the download links for both in the description box below this video. In this particular video I will be using Notepad++. VB scripts are run using the built-in Windows script host executables. There are two of these, WScript and CScript. CScript is generally used in server environments or where no user interaction is required. WScript is therefore the default scripting host and is used when you double-click a VB script to run it. Now let's create a simple script that will display the message, Hello World. Open Notepad++, or the editor of your choice and type in the following. WScript.echo Space Quotation mark Hello World Quotation mark The quotation marks are used to enclose the text that you want to display. And then save it as Hello World.vbs Then run it by double clicking the file. And your hello world message is displayed. If we run the script from a command line using the two script engines we get the following. Using C script the message is displayed in the console window. Using W script we get a dialog box, the same as double clicking the file. Although we have created and displayed a message, it doesn't look very good. So there is a better way to do the same thing by using the message box function for VB script. The main syntax for this is MSG box space message to display comma buttons to show comma title of message box. You may have noticed that because I already saved an empty document as a VB script file. When I type the syntax, notepad++ prompts me with possible entries for the message box function which can be helpful once you are a bit more familiar with VB script. If we double click the saved script, we get the message box shown. You may notice that if you look at the message box function syntax, that it differs slightly from what I've used. First of all, it shows the use of brackets around the various arguments, message to display, buttons etc. I've not used them in this example as they are only required when we want to return a value. For example, to tell which button has been pressed, when there is more than just an OK button. The arguments shown in square brackets are optional, so this means that we could have just specified the message to display, or prompt as it is called here. The help file and context arguments can be ignored as they are very unlikely to be used in a script file. They are more suited for use within the full Visual Basic programming language and even then I've never used them myself. If we look at the setting for the button arguments you will notice that you can use numbers in place of text to define which buttons to show. For example instead of using VBOK -OK only, I could have just used zero. However, I prefer using the text as it is more readable. Also, if you want to specify which icon to display on the message box, you would need to add the numbers together. For example, showing the OK button and an information icon can be done like this in text form but it would look like this using numbers. Although both would produce the same result as shown. That's all for this video. In the next video I will cover the use of variables, if statements, comments, and what error messages look like when we make a mistake in our coding.